followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Ms. Lucido. Dear God, as the children of East Point begin school this week, let us all be extra careful as we drive through our city, making sure that those attending get to the classroom safely. Please guide the teachers that we entrust with educating them. Children are our greatest blessings, and we thank you for them. It is in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America. and, to the, and to the Republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation under God, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and, and justice, justice for all. all. Thank you, Ms. Lucido, and everyone else who took the pledge today. Can we get a roll call, please? Mayor Owens? Here. Council Member Baker is absent. Council Member Curley? Here. Council Member DeMonico? Here. And Council Member Lucido? Here. Next item is approval of the agenda. Madam Mayor, I'll motion to approve the agenda. Support. Moved and supported. Please call the roll. Council Member Lucido? Yes. Council Member DeMonico? Yes. Mayor Owens? Yes. Council Member Curley. Yes. Next is the hearing of the public. It's now open. You get three minutes to speak. Please state your name and your residency, please. When you come up to speak, I will time you after you say your name and your residency, just to give you an extra couple seconds. Please be respectful to all of council. And please don't address just one council member. Just address us all, please. Uh, Mr. Fairbrother, please. All right, Madam Mayor, I have a message in the chat box saying the hearing of the public is now open. Members of the public, if you wish to speak, please either comment in the chat box or raise your hand um, electronically. Um, I see here Ms. Shelley Siopa. Okay. Um, would like to speak. Um, Shelly, can you hear us? Yes, yes, I can hear you. All right, the floor is um, yours. Okay, I, I wanted to ask a question about property taxes. Um, I'm a tax preparer, and I know I do a lot of tax returns for elderly people here in the city of East Point who really count on their refund to pay their property taxes every year. Um, this year, because of COVID, I still have tax preparer or tax clients who have not received their refund even though they were filed back in February, March, and April. Um, they're so concerned about having to pay the penalties and interest for being late on their property tax. Is this something that, that the council can look into and maybe relieve the pressure for them um, concerning their the interest and penalties for paying late? Absolutely, ma'am. Um, at the end of, we let the hearing of the public and we, we speak um, at the end of the meeting. But we hear everything you're saying and anything else you want to address, uh, you can email us and we'll get right to it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Were you done? You have a couple minutes left, ma'am. No, I'm done. Okay, thank you for your concern and what you do. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Fairbrother, we have anyone else? All right, let's see here. There are currently no individuals raising their hand and no one has, oh, I do see an individual actually physically raising their hand on a Galaxy Tab A. Um, I'm sorry, sir, I, I cannot see what your name is, um, but you have your hand raised there. So if you can hear us, the floor is now yours. Can you hear us, sir? I think I see the one that's still connecting to audio and the other, looks like there's two devices. The other one's frozen though, it looks like. Can you hear us, sir? If now we're gonna have to move on, sir. You could chat in the window if he eventually gets connected or you could do that now. Do you want to chat, sir, and put your question or concern or idea? 
in the chat, please do so now. Is he typing anything? Is your audio connected now, sir? I think it looks like it is. Can you hear us, sir? Or ma'am? Yeah, maybe not. Okay, maybe you can speak at the end. We gotta continue. Thank you so much. Please stay on this meeting. Do you have anybody else here in the public while we're waiting on someone else? You might um, be able to chime in. Madam Mayor, no other members of the public have their hands raised and there are no additional messages in the chat box. So I believe it's now safe to close the floor. Thank you. The first hearing of the public is closed. We're gonna to move to approval of the minutes for the regular meeting of August 18th and, and the special meeting of August 27th, 2020. Madam Mayor. Yes, sir. I would, I, would, I would move to approve the minutes of the regular meeting August 18th, 2020 and the special meeting August 27th, 2020. Support. Move and support. Yes, sir, Mr. Marco. I, I was just thinking on the minutes for our last regular meeting, we should just remove the recommended motion for the water meter system because we didn't actually end up making any sort of uh, motion. Um, I think we should just remove that completely since we didn't actually make a motion. I would, as a maker of the motion, I would uh, concur and remove that section. That's all. Moved and supported with that amendment. Please call the roll. Council person Curley? Yes. Council person Macedo? Yes. Council person DeMonico? Yes. Mayor Owens? Yes, thank you. Next item is scheduled hearings. We have the Board of Special Assessors meeting and a public hearing for the sidewalk and driveway approach, district number 182. We have the Assessors Commission here, um, Mr. Edwards. Yes. And I'm, I believe Mr. Blum is on here. Uh, correct, Madam Mayor. Hey, um, good evening. Good evening. Um, so this time I will call the Board of Special Assessors meeting to order at 727. Um, the, there will be a hearing of the public, but initially I'd like to uh, inform the public of what the purpose of this is. Um, every year we go through and uh, identify sidewalks that are hazardous. Um, we allow the residents the opportunity to fix it their, themselves. Uh, if they do not, then the city does uh, the fix and bills the property owner. Um, they have 30 days to pay the bill, and in the event that they do not make the payment within the 30 days, um, then we turn it into a special assessment. And that is what is um, happening here tonight. The listing of all the properties are the ones that have not paid the sidewalk bills at this point. Um, and we will be later on requesting council uh, approve the special assessment. Um, there is a hearing of the public. It is geared not towards the amount that was invoiced, but if there was any issues with workmanship on the sidewalks themselves. Um, Oh, you know, one thing I didn't do was a roll call. I know Jeff's on, but um, I'll call <laughs> um, the uh, call the roll. Uh, board member Doom is excused. Uh, board member Edwards. Present. And board member Blum present. Okay, now we can continue. Um, so this time we will open it up for a hearing of the public if anybody would like to speak on the uh, sidewalk. Brian, do you see anybody? Uh, let's see here, Randy. Um, if a member, oh, I do see this individual, LG Stylo 6. Um, sir, you have your hand raised. Um, yeah. The floor is now yours. Um, well, I have an issue with the workmanship. Uh, when this, when this initially uh, came about, uh, I wasn't the owner at the time. And, and so uh, they, they, they did the work after I, purchased, after I purchased the house, but it was initially, uh, uh, you know, conducted, well, it was initially uh, was gonna be done prior to me um, moving, moving in. So once I moved in, that's, they did it, uh, I guess like a month or so afterwards. So I wasn't aware of the cost, but uh, 
far as the workmanship done, uh, they they didn't do, they didn't do you know the work all the way through the um, to the street part, where it's causing a big puddle uh, every time it rains or when it snows and the snow melt, I get a big puddle. And I've seen other uh, property that was done, and theirs was done complete all the way to the street. So now, you know, my issue is the, is the the workmanship. Provide your uh, address. Two four nine two five Beck Avenue. Uh, what we can do is have someone go out and take a look at it tomorrow. Um, and see uh, what issues are actually uh, happening there. Okay. okay. I mean, you one, you the water your... is pulling up um, at the approach or on the sidewalk. It's 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 a it's the driveway. It's actually the driveway. They did like the uh, uh, right where the driveway um, go into the street. They did that part but they didn't do a follow through. So right there at the, at the ending part, they, they stopped there, but it, since they stopped, it, it, it don't, it just, it just all water just stay right there and, it, and, and you get a, um, you know, get a, like a, about an inch full of water that won't, won't go into the street. Can I also get your name and phone number? It's Alvin Prince. And the uh, area code is 407-310-5960. Thank you. Um, yeah, what we can do is, is take a look at it tomorrow, see if there's anything that can be uh, uh, taken care of on that. Um, and then if there is a workmanship issue, there's a two year warranty on the work and that can be uh, fixed if there's any problems. Um, but we'll have to take a look at it and then give you a, a call, let you know what we find. And then also, so it's, uh, from what I see now, it's a difference in, in, the, in the amount as well um, from an initially. Um, and, and is there a particular reason for that? Uh, yes, once it gets to the point of being uh, delinquent, which is what it's considered now, there is a 5% penalty added in. Okay, and, and um, can that be uh, any consideration to the, uh, can be taken effect? Because, you know, um, the, the previous owner never revealed none of uh, uh, From what I understand, that should have been revealed uh, at the time of purchase. And she never revealed that um, in, in the uh, uh, disclaimer. Did you use a title company for the closing? Yeah, I, I did use a title company. Because it's actually the title company that should have contacted the city to find out if there was any uh, outstanding uh, bills that were going to be due. Uh, even if it was something that hadn't been, uh, the work hadn't been performed or billed yet, uh, they would have been notified that there was uh, work on the house and they should have held some money in escrow. Uh, we do know that some title companies don't do their due diligence um, and there's nothing um, the city can actually do about that. Um, it is a lien on the property and it, you're right, it should have been revealed by the seller. But um, after the fact, there's nothing the city can do about that. Okay, well, uh, um, can, I, is a, is a, is, can I get the initial uh, the initial letter that was sent out stating that that particular work was going to be done. Um, I can check with the department that actually handles that and see if they have copies. Okay. Well, offhand, do you know the, the date that was, uh, when it, when it was initially scheduled? I do not, no. 
we're kind of, the special assessor board is kind of at the back end after the billing has happened and the bills have not been paid. Uh, there's a uh, different department that handles the actual sidewalk program and the notices and getting the work done and all of that. So I will have to check with that tomorrow morning. Okay, uh, appreciate it if I can uh, uh, have that. Um, okay. All right, are there any other members of the public who wish to address the, the board? Seeing done, uh, none, Mr. Blum, I believe it's now safe to close the floor. Okay. Um, do we have a motion? Yeah, I'd like to make a motion to recommend that the City Council approve the sidewalk and driveway special assessment rule uh, number 182 in the amount of $123,861.55. And I second that. We'll call the roll. Member Edwards? Yes. Member Blum? Yes. Motion passes. Uh, and I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Okay, the meeting is closed at 736. All good. Thank you both for being here tonight. One to the next item on the agenda is unfinished business. The approval to lease a four-wheel Elgin whirlwind vacuum street sweeper. Mr. Uh, Blum and Mr. I know I spoke to Mr. Fairbrother about this earlier, about the pricing on this. Mr. Fairbrother, did you find anything? Madam Mayor, actually, we have decided to remove this agenda item um, from tonight's meeting. I apologize. I, um, when we went to approve the agenda, I didn't have time to catch you. So. Um, if we could go ahead and remove this agenda item from tonight, I would appreciate it. Okay, with regards of that further research I asked yes, for? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, thank you. Next, we're going to go to reports from administration. Mrs. Doom is not feeling well, so we hope that she feels better from all of council. So we have our assistant city manager, Mr. Fairbrother. Thank you, Madam Mayor and members of council. Um, I'd like to start off today by welcoming Mr. Otis Gatson, who mm -hmm. began his first day of employment here today at the City of East Point. Uh, Mr. Gatson will be serving as Ms. Doom's executive assistant and will be replacing Ms. Linda Lintz um, in the coming weeks. So welcome Otis to the City of East Point. Um, additionally, um, the city has extended an offer to Ms. Erin Hardcastle, who will be beginning on the 14th of this month as the city's new building director. Um, so we're excited to have um, Ms. Hardcastle be able to shadow Ms. Van Haren um, for the next couple of weeks in anticipation of her retirement. Um, let's see here. It looks like the city has a number of job postings available. Um, I'd like to thank Ms. Mariah Walton, actually, who did a great job implementing a new human resource system um, on governmentjobs.com, where all of the city's jobs will now be posted. Um, it looks like we have five jobs currently open, um, all the way from firefighter and paramedic to part-time clerk, um, part-time rental inspector, police service aide, as well as the public information officer. So we're still looking to receive um, applications for all of those positions, and we encourage members of the public to apply for them. Um, additionally, I'd like to inform council that, um, as you may recall, um, Ms. Grace Ramsey, who served as the city's um, ranked choice voting education consultant in um, last year's um, first city council ranked choice voting election, um, Ms. Ramsey has actually offered the city a grant um, worth about ten dollars to $15,000 in free service to the city of East Point in terms of helping us um, organize our messaging for ranked choice voting in the upcoming November of 2020 election. So um, although there's no fee to the city, I, I want to inform council that we will be signing an agreement um, that will cost us nothing um, sometime in the next couple of weeks, well, sometime in the next week, hopefully, um, that is being prepared by our election attorney, Angela Gable. So um, I believe that's all, unless any members of council or the mayor have any questions. I don't, council. 
Amen. RCD grants exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting. Free money is always exciting for the city. <laughs> We're going to move to the finance director, Mr. Blum. Mayor and Council, um, based on the uh, earlier hearing of the public, uh, obviously today is the uh, due date for taxes. Summer taxes are due by, uh, well, it would have been when well, we closed up shop at 430, but you can still pay online through 1159 p.m. tonight or use the drop box and uh, we will get that in the morning. As far as waiving of late fees, that is designated by the city charter. Uh, it would take a, the equivalent of a constitutional amendment to eliminate those. And you also have to keep in mind that the penalties are not just for the city of East Point, it's for every taxing authority that we collect from. And if council decided they wanted to waive that, we would still owe the penalties to Macomb County or East Point Community Schools or South Lake or any of those. They expect their penalties. Um, and so uh, the city would have to find a way to eat the cost of any penalties that were waived. Um, so we do, do not get out of distributing those. Um, and that's, that's all I have as far as taxes go or anything else, unless you have any questions. Also, you have any questions? Seeing none, we're going to our city attorney, Mr. Albright. Thank you, uh, Madam Mayor, members of council. Uh, Madam Mayor, I just want to take this opportunity to uh, recognize uh, for those uh, watching uh, the city council meeting uh, this evening and for those who may have not uh, had an opportunity to follow along the show cause hearings that the council uh, conducted earlier this evening. Um, that was the, uh, the first round of show cause hearings uh, since the city has been utilizing the uh, Zoom for its meetings. Uh, it turned out to be an effective platform once again uh, with no uh, uh, problems whatsoever. And so I think that it will be uh, certainly an effective uh, platform uh, moving forward uh, so long as the city is uh, permitted to do so under the governor's uh, current executive orders. Uh, the next item, uh, Madam Mayor, I'd like to uh, address deals with um, uh, the city's uh, implementation of the Medical Marijuana Facilities Ordinance. Uh, since the uh, ordinance was uh, passed, uh, city administration has met on several occasions to work out the details on how uh, the ordinance will be put in practice and how uh, uh, licenses will be uh, accepted and processed and ultimately uh, selected. Um, I did circulate an email back on uh, August 23rd uh, with some uh, uh, suggestions from city administration that may streamline and uh, may as assist the, uh, the current ordinance to be uh, to essentially work even more effectively uh, without going into uh, the details of uh, those suggestions and certainly the council members can uh, can discuss those um, but I did have a, a suggestion which was um, also supported by city administration to go into a closed session to uh, discuss uh, some of the items in that email um, certainly if uh, the council does not want to uh, go into closed session although it would be able to do so uh, through attorney client uh, privilege communication um, and I know that uh, Mr. Baker is not present here this evening as well, but if the city is to uh, go into closed session to uh, discuss uh, my email, I would recommend that that be done with the uh, full council present to allow Mr. Baker an opportunity to also participate. Um, council member Curley, I believe that uh, you had an opportunity to meet with uh, members of staff uh, earlier today. And I know that you may have some, uh, some, uh, things to share. I know I previously spoke with uh, Council Member Lucido regarding the email and also uh, Council Member uh, DeMonico regarding um, some of the items that were contained in the ordinance as well. So I'm certainly happy to answer any questions. Uh, if the Council wants to use this time uh, during my report section to uh, have a discussion as to whether um, certain uh, sections of the as drafted as passed ordinance uh, need to be modified in any way. Uh, we can certainly do that during this time or uh, go into closed session at the uh, uh, at this, the city council's next regularly scheduled meeting. Yeah, I'd rather do it at the next meeting where we have the city manager and also Councilman Baker there. I don't know how all council feels on that. 
I agree to wait for the next meeting also. Yeah, yeah Madam, Does, Madam Mayor, I would, I would concur um, that um, we should have a full board uh, with this, plus the fact that the city manager hopefully would be there as well. Uh, just briefly to say, uh, council members, that um, there are some suggestions that uh, warrant our, our discussion and possible uh, revising our ordinance to fit those recommendations. So this is an extremely important discussion and uh, the committee has been working very hard to prepare once we get ready to actually start interviewing the uh, applicants, but having a closed session, it would be extremely important on the um, 15th. Yes, Madam Mayor, if I could add, just add in too, and, and for members of the public, um, if these uh, proposed uh, changes are made, it would require uh, an ordinance amendment. So the council or the members of the public certainly would have an opportunity to uh, know what those uh, changes are going to be because it would be subject to uh, an ordinance amendment. All right. Thank you. I don't know if any of the other council members had any comments regarding that particular topic before I move on to the next item. Oh, you're not done, Ms. Albright? <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. I just was going to say uh, the council is in receipt of our, our firm's monthly status report. I'm happy to answer any questions uh, about that or any other questions the council may have. And that's uh, that's it, for, uh, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions, council? Saying none, um, we're going to go to new business. Moving we'll right along, adoption of resolution number 1903, special assessment resolution number one, sidewalk and driveway approach, district number 182. Madam Mayor, I'll motion to adopt resolution number 1903, approving the sidewalk and driveway approach, special assessment rule number 182. Any conversation on that? Seeing none, call the roll, please. Councilperson Lucido? Yes. Councilperson DeMonico? Yes. Councilperson Curley? Yes. Mayor Owens? Yes. Next item resolution to concur GLWA's industrial pretreatment program. Council? Madam, Madam Mayor? Mayor I'll, I'll go ahead. Madam Mayor? Anyone? <laughs> okay. Um, I would move to uh, uh, approve the attached resolution to concur with the rules and regulations concerning industrial pretreatment program IPP that were adopted by the Great Lakes Water Authority. Support. Move to support it. Please call the roll. Council Member Curley? Yes. Council Member Lucido? Yes. Mayor Owens? Yes. Council Member DeMonico? Yes. Next item is bid award for Roxana Parks Improvements. We are on phase two. Council? Madam Mayor, I will motion to award the bid for the Roxana Park Improvements. Phase two to the lower bidder, Premier Group Associates LC of Detroit, Michigan, in the bid amount of $68,429, plus a 10% or $6,843 contingency for a potential total amount not to exceed $75,272. Support that. Moved and supported. Please call the roll. Council Member Lucido? Yes. Council Member DeMonico? Yes. Council Member Curley? Yes. Mayor Owens? Yes. Next item is to receive and file city attorney evaluation. So, so moved. Ah, support. support. <laughs> moved and supported. Please call the roll. Council Member Curley? Yes. Council Member DeMonico? Yes. Mayor Owens? Yes. Council Member Lucido? Yes. Next item is payroll and bills. Madam Mayor, I'll motion to pay the bills in the amount of $4,101,289.72. Support. Moved and supported. Please call the roll. Council Member Lucido? Yes. Council Member DeMonico? Yes. Council Member Curley? Yes. Mayor Owens? Yes. Next item is the second um, hearing of the public. You get three minutes. So those who wasn't able to get in um, at the first hearing of the public, you have another chance. 
for an additional three minutes or your first three minutes. The hearing of the public is now open. All right, so any member of the public, if you would like to speak, if you would please um, electronically lay, raise your hand. Um, if, if you don't know how to do that, feel free to write a message into the Zoom group chat box and I can call on you from there. You see any, Mr. Chair, brother? Mr. Fairbrother? Madam Mayor, I see no mem members of the public who wish, who are raising their hand and wish to speak. So I believe it's now safe to close the floor. The second hearing of the public is closed. Thank you everyone who has attended. We are going to mayor and council reports. Starting with Councilman DeMonico. Thanks, Madam Mayor. And ooh, it's only 7.51. I feel like I can take my time right now. No, <laughs> wait, wait. No, no, no. <laughs> Hurry up. Whoa. <laughs> um, first, I guess on a more of a personal note, I'd just like to announce it's Brain Aneurysm Awareness Month. Uh, as for many of you probably know, I had a brain aneurysm and it ruptured uh, late last year. Um, so take a minute to just learn a thing or two. Uh, if you've got a history in your family that you know of, you should get yourself checked out. Otherwise, you're probably all right. Um, a lot of people can have them, but they just never rupture. I don't know how long I had mine, but um, very good news. I just had finally the follow-up. It was delayed because of COVID, but I have no other aneurysms hanging out and the coiling for the one they fixed is all set. So I'm good to go according to the docs. They said to just come back in two years. So that was um, very good to hear for sure. Um, Amen. That's great news. Thank you, thanks. <laughs> um, second, uh, we went through the items real quick, but I just wanted to mention the GLWA item we had. It was for PFAS regulation. Um, they've done some more work on that and we're just doing what we can. Uh, we do have one place that would have, um, would need regulation of PFAS in East Point. Uh, you can check out the report, it's in the agenda packet, but it is good things that the state's doing um, and GLWA is doing. and uh, by requirements, I think, of the federal government to take care of that. So check that out. Or, I mean, I'm sure all of you have heard of Aaron Brockovich. Watch that movie if you haven't. You'll learn about it. Or read a book called Exposure. Um, that's, that's another one that, that's very eye-opening. Or if you don't want to read a book, Dark Waters is the movie that's based on that book. Check that out. Um, it's a very important item, something that can be in the water and stick around for a long time. So the state and country and JLWA and everyone's doing what they can to make sure we don't have it in our water. Make sure you wear your masks. Everyone wear masks. Hopefully we can have this pandemic done as soon as possible. And oh, Miss uh, Shelley, I see you're still here. Hopefully Mr. Blum, I think answered your questions. Uh, we don't have, you know, there's not much leeway the city council has on that item. So hopefully that um, it, it uh, answered your question. And then just like to congrat, congratulate, um, well, I guess Miss Van Heron too, Linda Lintz, uh, Lieutenant Childs, they're all retiring and we're welcoming Otis and Aaron to the city. Uh, I've yet to meet those two, but um, look forward to that. And gosh, I feel like I only took a couple minutes here. I should just sit here and take a few more minutes. Uh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh! <laughs> thank you. No, that, that's all, appreciate it. Thanks, Madam Mayor. Okay, thank you, and I'm glad you're okay. So that's good news for us. And we're gonna go with Councilman Curley. Thank you, first of all. Good news, uh, Cardi, God, God is good, thank you. Uh, Madam Mayor, I just have one thought-provoking thing to say, and I would hope everybody listens real carefully. If you keep looking back, you will never see what's in front of you. Let me repeat that. If you keep looking back, you will never see what's in front of you. Amen. Amen. I don't know if you should have uh, been a councilman or a preacher. So I guess we know what you're going to do after this, minister. I don't know. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been preaching the last couple of meetings, so I don't know. This word. 
Um, but that was beautiful. Thank you. We got a uh, mayor pro tem Lucido. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, I would just like to start by thanking um, everyone that made Gets Park possible. Um, I was there for the grand opening a couple weeks ago. It's beautiful. The kids were super excited to play. That's the best part of what I do is just, you know, being able to see the community um, using those things that, you know, we work hard to try to, um, you know, provide with the taxpayer dollars when we can. And thankfully we were able to get CBDG funds from the county and we thank them for granting us those funds to make that park possible for that neighborhood because it has been used. Um, every time I drive by, I see kids playing on it. So it's definitely um, a great spot for a playground. Um, also, I would just like to thank everyone again for attending tonight. Remind everyone to please wear a mask. Um, we need to stop the spread. Hopefully we can keep our numbers down in the state of Michigan and that we can um, hopefully soon have a vaccine. So we can all start, slowly start getting our lives back to normal. And just real quick, tomorrow is my 20 year wedding anniversary. So I would Yay! like to say happy, happy anniversary to my husband. And that's all, thank you. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary. All good news, all good news. Okay. Heart healthy. Uh, Councilman Crowley became a pastor tonight. <laughs> uh, 20 year anniversary, we got some good news going on. So um, I wanna welcome back all the kids who went back to school, whether that was via Zoom or in class, my kids went back to class actually. So um, they wasn't too happy about that. They had a long vacation at home with me and and they were ready to go, uh, not ready to go back to school. So I don't know about me, I didn't feel the same way. I was happy they went back to school. But um, also I wanna uh, thank Linda Lentz for all the hard work that she has did. And also we had a couple officers, um, Lieutenant Neal and a couple other officers that retired, been with East Point for over 25 to 30 years and they have left us. We have a couple other officers that have worked for East Point before I got here and did an amazing job. And I wanna say thank you for your service to those officers. Um, and also, like I said, Linda Lentz, and also I wanna welcome the new employees and tell them welcome to East Point. Also, I will be having an event September 20, I'm sorry, September 10th, 2020, um, at Foot Locker. It's a get out to vote event. Um, we will be, I will have people there explaining um, our ranked choice voting. A lot of people still don't know about ranked choice voting. We just started uh, the other uh, last year and a lot of people still wasn't aware of how it worked. We didn't have a big turnout in voters last year. And so the new voters might look at that this year and say, what is this? And so I want to make sure people are educated on that. You know, I invite all the council and also um, anybody that is aware who who um, was part of that ranked choice voting that can better explain some of those things to some of our residents and things like that. Because we don't want to uh, push people from not uh, voting and doing a certain thing because they're getting frustrated and uneducated on certain things. Also, in that, I will also have some back to school supplies for some of the kids things like that. So now, you know, back to school, sometimes we have all our stuff, sometimes we don't. So hopefully I can assist um, in giving back to the community by giving those supplies that you're missing or if you need extra supplies to give to someone in school that may not have supplies there, um, you're welcome to come out. Also, uh, this Thursday at 10 a.m., September 3rd, our uh, East Point Joy Coalition will be meeting via Zoom. Check the Facebook, check our uh, website for more information about that. Also, we have Salute to Excellence coming up. That will be September 17th. I don't know if they're gonna how they're gonna do that. So just stay tuned to that. So it's a lot of things going on in East Point that I'm very happy about. And so um, moving forward, I want to say thank you all who attended tonight's meeting. I want to say I'm praying for you all. I pray for the city of East Point all the time, the businesses, and I am so happy that we are still developing. Um, Houses, we're selling houses, our housing is going up. My house, you know, the price of my house went up, so I'm happy about that, and other houses. I uh, also want to um, read um, some reports on our crime, and I'm gonna get us out of here, because Mr. Curley is looking at me. <laughs> right now, I can feel him looking at me. So I just want to give you an update on the crime report, and we can get out of here. Our crime report from, I believe, uh, February to July, our murder, kidnapping was negative 100, so none. Sexual assault was negative, assault was negative, 
Breaking and entering went down 32%. Our larceny went down 28%. And vehicle theft went down negative 4%. It's almost 5%. Wow, so that's great. even during this pandemic, systemic racism, and a lot of things going on in households, East Point's crime rate is going down. So I'm happy about that. And our house value is going up. So let's continue to stay positive, stay prayerful, and stay safe. So can I get a... Motion to adjourn. So moved. Court moved and supported. Please call the roll. Council Member Curley? Yes. Council Member Lucido? Muted yourself, sir. I think yes. she said yes. <laughs> yeah, I said yes. <laughs> All right. Council Member DeMonico? Yes. And Mayor Owens? Absolutely. Thank you. Everyone have a good night. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Mary Hall, there's a lot. Mary Hall, there's a lion behind you. <laughs> Nine o'clock, Mary. Hey, thank you, Mayor. Good night, everybody. Bye.